You see, I'm a guy of simple taste. I enjoy uh, dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline. And you know the thing that they've got in common? They're cheap. What are you looking at? Hmm? Hey everyone. Um, for a while now I've wanted to make a makeup video just to show you um, some tips and tricks on uh, how to do an accurate version of uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, I've been uh, cosplaying it for a while now so um, I'm quite happy to show um, some tips and tricks and uh, what I, I also often get asked at conventions um, what makeup I use and um, and hair product and that sort of thing um, which I'll show you um, these this is the makeup that I use this is by Crowlin um, Aquacolor I've only recently found this out but this happened to be um, exactly what they used um, on Heath Ledger on the movie um, the makeup artist used the same stuff and absolutely amazing you can um, you can wear it all day long and sweat in it and it will stay exactly how it is all day um, it's not a face paint it's a makeup so that is absolutely a must-have comes in white black for the scarring I use a uh, rigid collodion. Right there. It's um it gives a in-depth look on your skin. Um not it doesn't ma it sort of doesn't doesn't make your, your your the scarring stick out, but it more like takes takes away, which I'll show you anyway later because I'm gonna show you the process of becoming the Joker. Um, for, for, the, for the teeth, um, not many people go to the extent of doing the whole rotten teeth, but this stuff's amazing. Also by the same brand, uh, Mayron, um, they do it, this is like a tooth decay makeup that you put. It's works amazingly but it's uh it tastes disgusting like like alcohol in your mouth it's yeah really real bizarre um now for the hair um i use this brand of uh just just a just a hairspray that washes out after one wash um On, I recommend using it. It helps using this sort of stuff uh, if you've got like uh, blonde highlights through your hair or, or tips or something like that because the green really, really stands out. If you put it on um, over dark hair, it, it, it still you can still see the green pretty well, but it just doesn't uh, separate. Um, so I recommend put blonde in your hair, all right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show you the process of uh, putting the makeup on. What I do, everything from uh, the the hairspray to, to the teeth. Um, I'll do the scarring makeup and show you the the step by step. Um, and also, um, I'll even put on the Joker costume as well, just to just to show you. Um, it's on a mannequin at the moment right here. Um, but I'll have to take that off. Um, and also, uh, a very important thing is uh, the detailing of, so when all the makeup's on, it's the fine little details that you do with like the creases in the head, the um, smudging around the eyes, all that sort of stuff, um, but yeah.
See, it gives an in-depth look. All right, now for the white makeup. Uh, this is water-based. So, uh, you can get them in oil-based as well, but I, I go for the water-based. Um, very easy to apply. Add a bit of water. Um, mix it in with a sponge and off you go. Alright, now with applying the makeup, I, I personally prefer to dab it on like this instead of wiping it on. It gives it more of that messy, scattered look and um, that's what you want. For the lipstick, I just use any generic uh, red lipstick. Now this has to be my favourite part, doing all the detailing. All the minor details make a big difference in, at, at the end. I use a just the uh, end of the earbud and just slowly start taking a little bit of makeup, makeup away here and there. You know what I mean? So as you can see, see all the taking away a bit of there, 